What's up guys, Jivin back with another video and today we're gonna be checking out some key moments from a VOD review that I did with a guy named Savior. We're checking out his best solo cash cup yet and going to try to figure out how we can get him to beat his score again in the next solo cash cup. There's gonna be a lot of good stuff in this video, especially for more beginner level cash cup players and for people that struggle to get refreshes. Please consider using code JiveNTV and without further ado, let's hop into it. One of the biggest things I was explaining to Savior in this VOD review session was how to find a dead side of his zone, specifically at the end of the game. So we hopped into Fortnite.gg and this is how that went. It's closing this way. This whole, everyone out here, everyone's based up out here right now, somewhere in this circle. But this up here, that is in the storm at first. So nobody's going to be on that backside to start the closing of this zone. So that very far back edge, that's going to be dead side of the first movement. This top size dead side. So it kind of stays dead side going this way um but but it's kind of like it's kind of like the same idea like this whole entire back edge here is going to have way less people than this whole entire front edge because people usually stop right as they get in so while this is the this here is the dead side of the first moving zone it kind of like changes to there so let's say next zone pulls this way that side's going to go from there to there and then this the dead side of the next zone, that far back edge. And it kind of just is a cycle of that. Now that's the simplistic example of how to find dead side in the moving zones, but the other factor is sometimes there's going to be landforms like mountains that change which side of the zone you should be aiming for. Like a lot of times you want to aim for the dead side because there's less players there. But if there's a mountain, a lot of times you want to try to get up the mountain because you don't want to get trapped underneath it on low ground. So the two things you should be looking at when you're scouting the moving zones on where you want to rotate is landforms and dead side. So now we're going to be checking out his first real end game here. What I was trying to do was just this entire time I was forcing myself to look back. Like I'm trying to get inside my head that I need to find refreshes like more commonly. So I'm just trying to get that mindset in me. Yeah, that's good. All right. Was, oh God. Yeah. This is fine. You're like disappearing behind the builds. Not bad True. place to land. Let me just go to the middle. Oh, I sprint this. Interesting. I like that. And then I got buried. Something I do a lot is like, I'm trying to stay up on a layer and I accidentally like trap myself. Yeah. So anytime you do that, do exactly what you did there. You just made a top box and you made some room above you. And now all of a sudden you're not, you're not in a bad spot. So I'd be trying to get, probably get up here. Yeah. Oh, I would have gone for that kill. Cause I'm crazy. <laughs> Bro. I, I am not that level of psycho driving. I did not block up my left here. I remember that. I remember that specifically because I got scuffed. Wheel, not hearts. Okay, uh, one thing I'd be careful of, especially with grapples, if you're in, it's same thing, but make yep. sure you're not peeking here, like, because somebody could have just been looking at that box, holding an angle and on it, and just fry you and just destroyed me. Yeah, so okay. you can you could edit the front with the shadows, but I would be sitting behind my cone there, so that they they can't actually see you. Okay, but it's even better to go out of side gonna get in and then i'll probably solve enough mass to find a refresh yeah that's good especially since and then and then, and then i do that and oh, then i do no. that and then you, you know it, it's it's over one of the biggest pieces of advice is i was given to savior this whole time is that when he starts to get in a panicky mood like he is here because he's weak he's messed up his rotate he doesn't know where he is when he starts to panic make a box or two and regain your consciousness regain what the plan is or make a new plan i get panicky too in end games and anytime i get like that i try to make just a little bit of space and make a new plan if you don't take that time to recompose then you're just going to be spiraling into just chaos I really feel like I should have branched out one left. I think you could have even gone up one when you first landed there. Yeah, true. Why didn't I? I watching it back, I thought I was for a second. I think I thought about it. And then you're just like, second. eh, let's eh, just Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> yeah, you definitely would have had better positioning up one more layer there. Yeah, so that's one of the big things. It didn't really affect you that badly there, but making sure you edit out a side with the grapple instead of wide editing your front. Yeah, I didn't block up my top. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, how did I get myself? Wow, that's crazy. 
when you're peeking back edge zone, you gotta you gotta make sure that you're setting up as safe of a peak as possible. That's really all it comes down to knowing knowing who's around you. Like like let's say that somebody's one box over and down. Like they have a cone right there. Like you never edit that wall. But it, it's same thing if somebody's one box over and to the right, then you don't want to edit that wall because they could just, just jump easily in. auto in. Yeah, it's really just like if there's somebody next to you in the direction you're peeking. Don't peek that way. I thought I should have just like built out one more to the left if I was gonna look back. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the only way you could have looked back there or or behind you. If you built one more box behind you towards the zone. When I'm based up and I'm looking back at zone, like this is one thing you can do. You can go like this. Because then if somebody tries to jump in on you from the angle you're peeking, you'll have a right hand peek on them as well. But usually I'll just I'll just be going like this. I'm looking down. I'll be up like three, four, five layers from low ground and I'll look back like this. You have like viewing on everybody, but the one thing you have to look out for is let's say somebody's tarping like kind of this way, just put a wall there and then you're good. You could even put a ramp there so nobody can jump up from that angle. You just gotta think about all the angles you're blocking and like you could even peek out this way. Just making that one extra box if you are looking for a kill back edge goes a long way. So one okay. thing that you need to uh, make sure you're being careful, another thing when you're looking back edge zone is like right now when you're peeking here, Yep. Uh, it, it's just important to keep track of like who has angle on the way you're peeking. So when you go to peek right here, everyone to your right has angles on you and you're not and you can't really see them. So if somebody like edited and was going to fry you, they'd get a free fry. So I would just edit a when you're changing the direction you're looking, just re-edit that wall in a way to protect your angles. So you could have done a top left peanut butter edit or just a window. I think here I was, yeah, this kid does this, and then he then he opens the wall and is like, what are you doing, kid? Just dog done. Ah! <laughs> Did I try to go that far into zone? No. Did I take it? Yes. If I'm based up like this and looking back from my wrist, where, where, where should I be looking specifically? Well, you gotta say, like, if you're going to look back, you gotta set yourself in a position to look back. So right here, you set yourself, like, right by these mountains. So as soon as you see that, you're like... You can look in the valley valley to the left there like maybe somebody will be running through there but at that point it's just like okay i should probably just look for my next rotate because I, I don't think i'm gonna find anything sidelines yeah so right up there that would be that'd be a good place landing up okay. there yeah i think i got halfway That's I where you go. this. i'm like all right this is good yeah I'm like all right this shield bubble makes this complicated i guess i can just print this what i was personally thinking like i would have done in this situation is make one more box that way and then peek peek down from my like i i usually make two boxes of space like i'd base up where you are right now and then turn around peek through my far wall or else the floor and cone underneath in the other box Dad, and you're gonna be proud of me for this one So right now, the zone's getting pretty close. You gotta start thinking about your rotate. Okay. Kevin, I finally got a refresh. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. So when you're sliding there, just Sounds uh, good. like builds behind me. Yeah, yeah. Just turn around, like slow down a little bit here. You could yeah. even just make one more box there. Pop like one or two minis, so you at least have some shield on instead of just like kind of panic sprinting. Also, you had mats at this point, so you could start look looking to get up players. Ooh, up players nice. is usually gonna be less congested and there'll be less players with zero mats cycling. True. Devin, I know you're gonna be surprised, but I did it again. <laughs> Let's go. I did it again. Oh, block your front, yep. See, I would slow down there just a little bit. I don't even think you get all the mats or anything. Just slow down. Don't charge at the loot, you know, block your angles and everything. And then and then take your time. Like if you if you take a little extra time to slow down, you'll be able to get more out of that refresh. You know what I mean? Because you didn't get the metal. You didn't check anything. I'm just more properly assessing where I'm at now. Yeah, because I run out of mats here. Yeah, you didn't get the you didn't get the mats off that. So just make sure you switch to wood on this rotate. Once once you edit out here and you're planning to make some moves to zone, just switch to your wood. Cause then you won't feel as bad about overbuilding, you know? If you overbuild with wood, it's a lot 
it's a less lot less costly. detrimental yeah costly Except yeah, I'm like, max. yeah i'm like wait a minute hold up i'm like nobody's going for height i'm just gonna establish okay this is something i need to know like if i'm the one establishing height or like going on it how high should i go up well in this situation this dead of a lobby and you don't have grapple probably rotate front first before you build up like that maybe crank like one or two and just ramp it well you could have landed on that other guy too so that you could have saved some mats landing like three layers up by landing on the was, wood i think i was trying to and i just missed a lot of times i'll just do like floor ramp like floor ramp 90s and like <laughs> even though it's not very connected at least i save the mats and i'll just connect to somebody i usually try to stay like two two layers above second height especially at this point in the game that way I can get as much pressure on as possible. I think, yeah, I think this is the part where I hard choked the game. Or was it? Yeah, it's this guy, bro. I, if I just hit my shots, I win the game. Ah, uh, yeah. That That's what I needed. I get that refresh, I easily win that game. Yeah, if you saved the mats earlier too, like he would not have even been looking at you. You would have been big yeah. chilling. We'll find out soon if Savior beats his personal best in the next cash sheet. Don't forget to like and sub and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.